Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's a tutorial of how to uh, create a login menu in Unity and then uh, writing an API for that. Uh, also, we want to uh, connect our application, uh, a login that we made, to our API. The API uh, is gonna be written by PHP and MySQL. So the plan of this tutorial uh, are separated in three parts. For first part, we want to create a UI, a login that we want. Uh, second part, we want to create MySQL database and insert the default values. And then uh, writing our PHP script uh, for our API that we want. Uh, for the third part, we want to create C Sharp script and uh, connect our application, our Unity application to that API has been written. Okay, let's get started to uh, create our UI. So click on Unity icon, wait till it come up, click on work offline. New project, name is login and press enter. Waiting till our project assets preparing. Okay, here is uh, Unity. So, this is our scene when we put our game object into it. Here is what we show, what we see as a result of our project. Here is a hierarchy when we want to create a game object, we put it right here. Uh, here is a game when we play a scene, a result will be shown right here. And uh, assets when we uh, want to create a folder, create scripts, uh, in, um, enter any things like uh, models, sprites, images. We put it right here. So this is really important. Uh, here is Spectre when we uh, click on assets or hierarchy game objects. So we will see the properties of that right here and we can edit some of them. Okay, um, what we want to do is uh, right click on hierarchy in UI and uh, choose panel and Unity automatically creates canvas um, in a parent of our panel that we wanted to create. So right here is our panel and here is our canvas. We put a scene to 2D mode because we want to create a UI. So here is a canvas. Uh, we need to uh, edit a thing right here, a property, actually uh, one component here is a canvas scalar because we want to have an a responsive uh, page for our application, we need to put a constant right here, UI scale mode from constant pixel size to scale with a screen size and after that uh, in panel uh, right here the component image we can uh, choose a background image as a source image or color and material we don't want to um, put a background image only a color so select right here a color uh, choose the white and the opacity is full. Okay. Uh, we need to create the other panel right here. The child of that panel and name it to panel login. So changing size, 
this panel and uh, put it to center right here and changing the color to for example yellow or white and change this to yellow no this is light I want to be light and uh, okay uh, the distance uh, from the right should be same as the left right here on top same as bottom so it's great and uh, we need to take a look at and notice to this component the rig transform and put a position to a stretch which is selected and right here put it to the center of that one so we'll see this in a game like this is what we want yeah the scale is 16 and 9 so click on scene let's get back to our scene right here we need to add our uh, input field as what well. we want to uh, enter a username and password we need to edit this input for username and duplicate it for password here we got a placeholder which means that uh, a text that is written into the input and shows what we should enter into it change it to username and size 20 and uh, alignment center the phone style normal and uh, stretch it to fix the size and uh, text which means what we enter into the input and same as placeholder so actually the size width can be 300 and the height is 60 so put it to upper and uh, change the name to the input field username and duplicate it by copy paste and uh, change it to password and put it right here and we need to change the placeholder to password that's it also we need to um, put our button right here we need to have a button because we want to click and enter into a program by this we want to validate our username and password by a button so we need a button click on button right here the size uh, can be like input fields also it can be changed so we change the name to button login button login uh, width can be like this or it can be but same as it it's better okay it's a button and uh, 
bottom login we got we should change the text of the button to login or sign in no difference the size 20 alignment center okay that's what that's what we wanted and uh, we can uh, put a opacity of our input fields to lower it looks better or 100 it's good and change the sorry I change the login color to um, this green or lighter yes this one okay this is our login that is uh, created so the last thing we need to change is a uh, reg transform of uh, input fields and uh, login button so we put it to a stretch up this one same as that and button login to stretch down because we need to then be stretched this is what we created and it's responsive for our screen so we create our we created our login that's it first part ended thanks for uh, subscribing me I follow the other parts uh, that uh, really helps you.